we feel the energy in the room. Yeah? Okay. Nicholas Badminton is an award-winning author, researcher, and advisor for the most impactful governments on futures, transformation, and policy, and has worked with over 400 of the world's leading companies looking to drive hyper-growth, profit, and impact. Um, in futures work, we call these mega trends, and these are the things that you deal with on a daily basis. So we've got a number of different areas around geopolitics and economics, environmental, technology, culture, society. All of these things change how we see the planet and how we live on that planet in the Anthropocene and beyond. So I'm going to take you through some that I'm really focused on and I know that you're really focused on. Climate. Ed Hawkins from the University of Reading has got the warming stripes. You've probably seen these. Starting in 1850, running through to today, we know the world's getting warmer. 1.5 degrees warming, that idea's gone. We're already going to go to two, maybe 2.5 degrees warming. It's going to get toasty warm. Those summers aren't necessarily going to be as comfortable as they used to be. We see the challenges every day in the news. Some of the biggest challenges that we have to engineer solutions for and think our way out of come with regards to climate change. Secondly, I look at the nexus between water, energy, and food. And I do most of my work with people in these areas. There's water scarcity, and that's going to impact the majority of electrical generation around the world. We have to come up with new systems and new ways of thinking, of harnessing natural resources and moving away from fossil fuels. Our food systems are incredibly fragile. In southern Europe, we've seen incredible um, heat. Southern, southern Italy and southern Spain, they've had calamities where not growing certain crops like wheat or tomatoes and whatever aren't just structural challenges. They're actually cultural challenges as well. What happens if suddenly your culture can't grow the food that's been eaten for thousands of years? So thinking about vertical farming, indoor farming, thinking about the mega city growth around the world, how we're going to feed people, because we need 60% more food for the entire planet by 2050. And then I have to talk about artificial intelligence and our algorithmic age. Hands up who's heard of ChatGPT? <laughs> Everyone. Hands up who uses it at work? Be very careful. <laughs> Okay, we're at the beginning of our journey. ChatGPT is uh, it's like a seven-year-old with an encyclopedia that likes to make things up, so buyer beware, right? Got to be careful. But the growth of data, 60% year-on-year growth, the growth of algorithmic systems, so many people working to apply artificial intelligence and machine learning and, and data in whole new ways. And do you know what? Engineering is absolutely at the forefront of that. We see incredible hype. We don't see hype, we see opportunity. We can see through the media buzz. And that's really exciting for me to, to be here speaking to you about that as well.